so we've just arrived in Camperdown after a very long drive and a very early drive. Um, we are going to be heading to Portland after this for some family stuff, but we I, I found out that there is a 100% gluten-free cafe in Camperdown, um, which is, what, an hour and 30 from Melbourne? Two hours from Melbourne? Oh, two from Melbourne. Two hours from Melbourne, out towards the west of Victoria. And it's called the Camperdown Well Nest Cafe. And so we're gonna go inside and we're going to have some breakfast. This is an egg and bacon roll with a little bit of avocado. Oh, sorry, focaccia. And then I've got the avocado smash with relish. So we've just finished at Camperdown Wellness. And I'm eating a blueberry macaron. And this is really yummy. Really yummy. And mum doesn't want me to show her face, but she's got a lemon meringue pie. Hang on, one second. Just want to see the lemon meringue pie. Just show me the pie. <laughs> she doesn't want me to show her, her face because apparently she's just decided to face plan it and it's covered in a lemon meringue. <laughs> and that's my car telling me I need to put my seatbelt on. So I'm going to go now and we're going to drive to Portland to finish our family stuff. But this is a great stop. Definitely stop here if you are in Camperdown stuff. But we, I, I found out that there is a 100% gluten-free cafe in Camperdown, um, which is what, an hour and 30 from Melbourne? Two hours from Melbourne? Oh, two. Two hours from Melbourne, out towards the west of Victoria. And it's called the Camperdown Well Nest Cafe. And so we're gonna go inside and we're going to have some breakfast. egg and bacon roll with a little bit of okay. avocado oh sorry focaccia and then I've got the avocado smash with relish So we've just finished at Camperdown Wellness and I'm eating a blueberry macaron and this is really yummy, really yummy. And mum doesn't want me to show her face but she's got a lemon meringue pie. Oh, I Hang on, one second. <laughs> just want to see the lemon meringue pie. Just show me the pie. <laughs> 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 she 
She doesn't want me to show her face because apparently she's just decided to face plant it and it's covered in a lemon meringue. <laughs> and that's my car telling me I need to put my seatbelt on. So I'm going to go now and we're going to drive to Portland to finish our family stuff. But this is a great stop. Definitely stop here if you are in Camperdown. So it is Sunday the 11th of April and I am heading out to pick up a friend, my friend Matt, and then we're going to go try out the new Theo's fish and chip shop location in Brunswick. So the one in, I think it's in Ivanhoe. Ivanhoe. The one in Ivanhoe isn't 100% gluten free, but they do cater really well. But this new location in Brunswick is 100% gluten free. So I'm very excited about that. And then I am going to go hit up an experience after that. Full transparency, I've been invited to this experience. I didn't have to pay, but it is with Drool who started doing class cooking classes in during the during covid and i did their shop 225 uh, class and they haven't done, they don't always do gluten-free classes but in my inbox because i signed up to their newsletter i did see that they were doing a gluten-free class today i think it's cannoli making and i shared it because i didn't have i get paid monthly and i didn't have the funds to go to that class but the creator of Drool, Penny, asked if I would like to come along and I said yes. So I will see you when we get to Brunswick. As I was saying in the car, I am doing a cannoli experience with Drool. Um, I'll put in all the information here. Of course, this one is finished and the next one is not gluten free. But if you sign up to the newsletters, you'll get all of their events and hopefully another one that's gluten free will happen soon. So I'm going to try. This is getting really foggy because of the rain. So I will try and film as much as possible and yeah. I'll talk to you afterwards. We added some lard and an egg, and then we just mixed it all together. It already had xanthan gum in it and everything, so I'm pretty excited.
these are our cannoli shells. Uh, some of them split, and then this was my little thing that had my little A on it for Ashley. No, I had three that split, maybe. <laughs> It was a really fun class. Apparently, they can adjust the other classes to the group group, and we just really not going to get find out. Um, they're doing this class they're doing on Mother's Day, so definitely check out Hold. They are drawing for a US Molly for the links down below. That's it for this vlog. Thank you for watching. As always, gluten-free never has to be boring. You can find more recipes, reviews, and guides on www.theaussieceliac.com.au. I'll see you next time.